Craigslist. It's an American uh, advertising website. Uh, it's closed its personal advert section in America in response to a new law against sex trafficking at some adverts promoted prostitution and child sex abuse. Uh, the se this section of Craigslist continues to be available in the UK. Sex for rent adverts fall under the renting advert section on the website. They can be seen to be promoting child sexual abuse as girls as young as 16 are contacting the landlords in a bid to acquire free accommodation. Now, we uh, have approached Craigslist on a number of occasions for a response, but so far they haven't replied to us. So, um, how many of the adverts did you come across? Well, I was absolutely shocked at the amount of adverts available, you know, for people to kind of see and approach the landlords for rooms. I easily came across about 100 uh, um, adverts. And, you know, these houses, these are luxurious houses as well, and they're across the country. So, you know, the issue isn't just in London. London, in Manchester, this is across the UK. And so why are women doing this? I think, you know, for them, it's a roof over their head. I mean, they can't always afford renting prices, and the fact that renting is, you know, increasing over 20 to 25% in the next couple of years, this is a growing problem. So for a lot of women, this is their only option. So yeah. how blatant are these websites? I mean, when you contacted them and you uh, you went undercover, yeah. what did you discover? What were they saying? What did they ask of yeah. you? So some adverts were really vague in what they were offering. So you had some saying, you know, we want someone who can cook and clean and you can live here rent-free. And actually, when you started to talk to the landlord, it was clear that they, it clearly wasn't just about cooking and cleaning. You had to offer some kind of, you know, uh, sexual favour to the landlord. And some of them were a lot more blatant than that. However. Yes. I mean, some adverts were clearly saying, you know, I'm offering a friends with benefits arrangement, someone that can come and live with me and have a fully stocked fridge, live rent free, um, but you have to have sex with me. So they did vary. Was yeah. there an, an age limitation? Did you come across anyone who would have accepted a 16 year old into their house? I didn't come across that, but that doesn't mean that that's not happening right now. Um, you know, 16 year old girls are approaching these landlords and I have spoken to one landlord who said that, you know, I often get 16 year old girls contacting mm. me and saying I need somewhere to stay because fallen out with my mum. Mm. I mean, that's just shocking to me. Mm. Okay. okay, all right. Well, Thank let's um, let's talk to... We're going to talk. call him uh, Simon uh, now, who's a homeowner and a father. 